In this video, Arduino is used to control WS2812B module, which has individually addressable RGB LED strips. The WS2812B LED strips comes in different formats, such as 30 LEDs per meter, 60 LEDs per meter, or 144 LEDs per meter. The one used in this project is 60 LEDs per meter. Each LED strip contains SMD5050, which has three RGB LEDs that are controlled by the WS2812B chip. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The WS2812B is connected as follows. From the Arduino, digital pin D8 is connected to data in of the module through a 330 ohm current limiting resistor. Since each LED strip will draw a maximum current of 60 milliampere, an external power supply is used where the 5 volt line is connected to the 5 volt pin and the ground is connected to the ground pin. When we execute the program within the Arduino and inside the loop function, all of the LED strips will be turned off and the program will be waiting for a push button press here. So when we press uh, this button, for example, the program jumps to a function which will enable the user to determine the number of active LED strips through this 10K pot. And we can have between 1 to 30 active LED strips. And when we press this uh, push button here, interrupt 0 is generated, which will force the program to leave the function and jump back to the loop function. Pushing either of these push buttons will force the program to jump to a function that will display a certain pattern on the module. And by pressing the exit button, the program exits the function and jumps to the uh, loop function and all of the LED strips are turned off. And now for a quick demonstration. We press the number of strips uh, button and we can select a uh, number of active strips. Let's say for example 10 strips. We press the exit button to turn off the pattern. We press uh, pattern 1 button and we get this uh, pattern display for the 10 selected strips. Finally pressing button 2 gives us this uh, pattern display. A look at the C++ sketch, we need to include this uh, library fast LED so that we can access the WS2812B module. We declare this one-dimensional array which will contain 30 elements, meaning that we can access up to 30 LED strips on the module. Inside the setup function, we need to declare to the fast LED library the type of hardware to use, which is the WS2812B the digital pin to which we connect D in, and the name of the uh, array we have declared, and the number of uh, LED strips we want to access or address. Next, we uh, set the brightness of the LED strips with a value of 50, so the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 255. And here we uh, enable uh, digital pin 2 of the Arduino to become interrupt 0 pin. Inside the loop function, and using this for loop, we turn off all of the 30 LED strips on the module. And when uh, the button connected to digital pin 3 is pressed, then this if statement becomes true, and this function number of strips is called. Inside function number of strips, we determine the number of uh, strips we want to activate on the module by reading the pot value connected to A6 and remapping the value to value between 1 and 30 since we have 30 LED strips. After determining the number of strips, we use this for loop to turn on the uh, strips themselves so we have visual confirmation on the number of strips and we use this second for loop to turn off the unused strips. The code within the while loop will continuously execute until we press the interrupt button. Then the program will jump to the interrupt service routine shown here, 
where this boolean variable will have a true value and going back to the uh, number of strips uh, function this if statement becomes true and the program then is forced to exit the function and return to the loop function back inside the loop function when we press the pattern one button this if statement becomes true and we call this function and we send to this function the number of uh, strips that we have determined in the first function call inside function pattern one and using this uh, nested for loop the program displays on the LED strips a certain pattern using three colors red green and blue the program continuously runs within the function until we press the interrupt uh, button which uh, makes this if statement true forcing the program to exit the function and return to the main loop function finally when we press the pattern 2 button this uh, if statement becomes true and the program jumps to function pattern 2 and within that function another pattern is displayed on the module and again by pressing the interrupt uh, button the program jumps back to the loop function more projects will be demonstrated in future videos thank you for watching